Hey guys, welcome back to Snow Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Uh, I'm in another new spot because I can't, I got my mind where I want to film. <laughs> but, um, my nose is itching. I got the window open, so if you hear some weird noises, it's the high school behind me, more than likely, or neighbors or something. <laughs> or wind chimes, because my neighbor over this way has a bunch of wind chimes on her porch, which sounds awesome, I think. But, um, I just thought I'd sit here because you could see my Valentine balloon and flowers Devin got me. I didn't want roses because I'm, I'm not a big fan of roses and I don't want him to spend $50 on something that's going to die in a few days. So he got me just some, I know these are carnations, but I don't know why any of the other ones are. But they're pretty and they smell nice. But okay, let's see here. What did I say? This is episode number 31. Did I say that? Is that right? Yes. Number 31. Um, I got a few things to talk about today. I didn't get a lot of crochet time. Well, I mean... I, most of the crochet time that I got was to work on a specific project, but it's done, so now I'm going to... My goal, my plan, is to finish the whips that I have. Try to finish them up in the next few weeks, except my afghan that I'm working on, because it's going to take me longer. Before I start many new things, unless they're like the Christmas ornaments and things for uh, Claudia's crochet along. So, because I want to get done with uh, the reef and all that. I can't remember what's in that bag. But that's my square. But yeah, I want to get the reef and all that done and over with so that I don't have to think about it anymore. Let's make sure it wasn't a text. Uh, Jesse is at my mom's, so he's not going to be here today, but that's alright. Um, let's see here. I think that's everything I wanted to say right there at first. I do want to welcome all the new subscribers. We've had quite a few, and it's awesome. I'm slowly, slowly creeping up towards 1,000. I think I'm at 630-ish. I don't remember, but it'd be cool to hit 1,000 just as it's like it'd just be cool. There's not really a purpose because I don't really think I'm going to get monetized anyways. Even if I got the 300 something people I needed before next week, I don't think I would get monetized. And I don't really care. I mean, I don't care if I make money off of this or whatever. It's just fun. And I like the community. I still have something out the window. But, um, I hope the light's not too bright. The window is behind y'all, so it's shining this way. And it is hot in here. That's why the window's open. I'm burning up and I'm trying to procrastinate turning on the air conditioner because electricity is expensive but yeah let's see here let me think about announcements the only real announcement I have is this this is in this bag <laughs> is my lost in time Barbie doll shawl because it's like the size of a Barbie doll shawl <laughs> I haven't worked on it except for adding like two rows in weeks and I sat down to work on it last night, and Jesse, I, every time I started to look at the pattern to see what I needed to do, Jesse would be a toddler. And I'm thinking I'm not going to be able to finish this because, you know, of having, excuse me, having a toddler. He needs so much attention, and he makes so much noise and stuff that I need patterns that I can't, that I don't need to focus on a whole lot, and this pattern needs a lot of my attention. So I think I'm going to drop out of the cow that this is involved in, which stinks. And Jody, if you're watching, I'm sorry, but um, I just I'm not feeling it. And like I said earlier in one of my other er, er, earlier podcasts, I think a few episodes ago, that I I don't want to waste my crochet time or just my mental time, anything like that, on projects I'm not 100% into or that are too you know, too time consuming and all that, you know, I want to crochet for fun. That's Facebook. <laughs> I'm afraid it's going to be something about Jesse. But, um, so I'm probably going to frog this and put the cake up and use it for something else dear in mine and, uh, Moe's cow that we're hosting in, starting in April, the cake walk. I almost said cake along. The cake walk. Because I got a lot of mandala cakes that I'm going to try to use up during that, hopefully. So, that's about the only answer is that the Lost in Time shell is probably going to get frogged because I have, I just don't have the, the motivation to work on it. And when I do sit down and try to work on it, I can't because I need patterns that I can read a few lines of and do them. And with this pattern, I have to keep looking at it and I don't want, you know, I can't do that with Jesse. That's a long description or what explanation of why I'm frogging that, but I'm frogging. <laughs> it's getting frogged, probably in a little while. Uh, yeah, which is going to stink, but oh well. It's life. Alright, I don't have any more um, announcements that I can think of. Change my position. 
Sorry if I'm sitting weird, but I'm not comfortable that other way. I have everything laid out in front of me on the couch, so I'm probably going to be reaching for it. And I keep messing with my hair. It's weird to wear it down, because when Jess is here, I usually wear it in a ponytail. But, um, I have my nails done. This is the first time in my whole life I've ever had acrylic nails. Because I, I have really healthy, nice nails usually. <laughs> and I usually just get them painted. But I haven't even had my nails painted professionally <laughs> since I graduated college, which was almost five years ago. My sister took me to get them done as like a graduation gift. But then my mom went the other day. She wanted me to take her and then she paid for me to get my nails done. And so I thought, well, heck, I'll try it. And it's alright. I mean, it's really weird to get used to and it's weird how thick they are like compared to a real fingernail. <laughs> but I kind of like it. And if I keep getting them done, I might get them done shorter. Because Kimmy, uh, she's in her apron. If y'all watch her, she's really awesome. And if you don't watch her, you need to go check her out. She's like a lifestyle channel. Uh, vlogs and stuff. She gets hers done. I think she gets acrylics or next gen, whichever. But she gets them like half the length of mine, the white part, and it looks good and it's just it looks nice and fancy, but it's not doesn't get in the way. These kind of get in the way. Like I had a really hard time untying my shoes earlier, but um, yeah, I like them. And this is about the only girly thing I can do because I don't dress fancy. I I don't do my hair, but brushing it, I don't wear makeup. I don't do any of that other girly stuff, so I do like getting my nails done, just because that's the one girly thing I can do. Anyways, that's totally has nothing to do with what I'm talking about. I'm going to go ahead and start with acquisitions today, because um, I only got four balls of yarn that my mom gave me. Uh, she does crochet a little bit, and she knits a little bit, or she used to, and she was trying to get back into it. But, and she bought some yarn, and she bought some crochet hooks. Well, I guess I got those hooks, too. Uh... I guess she bought these on Amazon because they look like the Amazon kits. And they're tangled. But she got them to try to, you know, to start making stuff again. But then she just, she said that she, they were just sitting there and that she didn't have the oomph to do anything. She does want to get some bulky yarn and a big, uh, she calls them needles, but hooks. <laughs> um, to make something bulkier. She thinks she would enjoy that more and be easier for her and stuff. So, uh, she might do that sooner or later. But, anyways... This is what she gave me that she bought. This color of uh, Red Heart Super Saver I've never seen before. Because uh, she ordered it off the internet. I guess Amazon. I'm not exactly sure. But uh, it's called Cherry Cola. And it's Red Heart Super Saver. It's just the variegated kind. I don't know how good you can see it at all. Because of the light. The light for me is really bad. So I hope it's not that bad for you. But it's like a... It kind of like autumn colors. It's like... Uh, dark red and browns and an orange and some like almost a green color. It's pretty yarn. I might actually make something for her out of it. But anyway, she gave me four skeins of it. This one, they're all good, you know, full skeins. This one just doesn't have its label on it because she, she was gonna start using it and then changed her mind. But I don't know. I might try to find something to make for her. I think this would make a really cute amigurumi. Like, this would be good color yarn to use if you made a turkey, like, to make the feather part would be pretty with this. But I might try to find some kind of little lap can. I don't know. That's probably not that much, so how many? This is... Where is it? 200, 236 yards per ball, so, and there's four of them. So I could probably make her something out of it. I'll, I'll just shop around and try to find something to make for her, because she bought it liking the colors, so it'd be nice to be able to make her something out of the color she liked and uh, yeah and then she also gave me these hooks these are just like I think they're from Amazon those random like generic hooks I probably won't use these I'll probably end up giving these away because they feel fragile and I I crochet with a really tight grip like I know I need to quit doing that I need to work on not doing that but um, I do hold my hook really but it's a whole set. It goes from 2.5 all up to 6. So it's a whole set of little hooks. Just take them back there. Hopefully they won't fall. <laughs> Alright, I will stop this video randomly to check to make sure my camera is still filming because I am using my actual camera today instead of my phone so I can't see me. And I hate when I'm not when I'm talking and then the camera turns off because it quit recording like 10 minutes earlier. <laughs> But anyways, that's the only acquisitions I have that are yarn related. I am going to be making another video today of all the paper craft stuff. I'm looking over there because it's on the love seat. 
because I got a lot of paper craft stuff at Hobby Lobby today. But I just thought I'd make it separate so that if people are crochet people and don't care about paper craft, then you don't even have to click on it. But anyways, let's go into the finished objects. I have two finished objects. I was hoping to have more, but you know, just life got in the way. My first finished object isn't 100% finished because I am going to back it with felt, at least the legs and feet. And then I got to put loops on the back to hang it on a dowel like that thing is because it's going to hang right there in like a day or two because I'm going to do that tonight. And it is the, it's called the Lucky Garden Flag. It's a paid pattern by Heidi Yates. He's got his little boots up there. I put his shoes on wrong. One was supposed to be facing this way, but I sewed the buckle on backwards. So um, I just went ahead and put him off this way, but he's still got his legs sticking out of the pot. So it's so cute. And then it's got the coins and some down here just because that's what it showed on the picture. So I copied it. I love the little rainbow ribbon thing. I guess it's supposed to be some kind of ribbon. <laughs> and the shamrock is super cute. This was just three little hearts put together with like a stem. That was super cute, but um, yeah, I'm gonna back the the feet and the legs with some green felt, I think, just to give them some like body to you know stiffen, because they're gonna be hanging from the feet, the dowel is, so uh, that's just gonna make these you know lay the way I want them to, and then it'll just live up there until close to Easter, and then I'll switch it out with the Easter one that I'm gonna be making soon. <laughs> but yeah, it's a super easy pattern. I love all of Heidi Yates flag patterns. They're all, um, I think they're usually four dollars. I can't remember. Four to five-ish. But they're super simple. They're made just, you know, like, they're just made in panels, I guess you would say, yeah. And then these are just little circles. <laughs> I thought about making more coins, or making them in an actual gold color, but I think the yellow looks good too, because it's pretty bright yellow. I'm pretty sure all of this is Red Heart Super Saver, except the orange on here is that random orange that I can't remember what it is, but it's not Red Heart Super Saver. It's just random orange. <laughs> but yeah, this is easy. I could have made this in one sitting, I think, but, I, you know, with Jesse, I just got split up into a few, like a week. <laughs> but I, I finished this um, Saturday, Friday night or Saturday night last week while watching a movie on... Um, Netflix. What was I watching? Goodfellas. I was watching Goodfellas. I love any Bronxy type movie and I've always loved Goodfellas. And they put it on Netflix so I was watching it on Netflix. I'm currently watching The Godfather. I only got 30 minutes into it though the other night so I have to, I still got two and a half hours to watch. But yeah, that's finished and it's going to hang right there where all my flags hang. Okay, just Facebook. <laughs> um, now I'm going to make, I'm going to start an Easter one and up here where my Heart gar garland is. I don't know why I always want to say something else. And then I had, what else did I have in there? Oh, my Christmas lights were hanging over there. I was thinking there was something else there, but there wasn't. The heart garland, and then I'm going to make Easter eggs. Oh, no, wait, I'm ahead of myself. I'm going to make shamrocks. I'm going to try to make them, um, like, in the next few days and hang them up there. I'm going to make five little shamrocks hanging down. And maybe, I thought about making little coins and hanging like in between them or something just you know because it's gold at the end of the rainbow but and then I'm gonna I got a um, Easter egg pattern and I'm gonna make also Easter eggs hang up there when I make an Easter-y thing to hang over here I'm getting ahead of myself I keep trying to think of the next holidays this phone keeps vibrating let me check it again Facebook okay Facebook is blowing up alright my next finished object is I haven't blocked it yet because for one I've never blocked anything so I have to learn how to do it but I'm gonna block it today because Jesse's gone and I'll have to block it on the floor this is a pattern that I was testing for Hannah at the Cozy Cottage Crochet she wrote a shawl pattern and she said that we could share you know we could show our progress and stuff but I don't know why I kept it a secret last week I even said it was like a secret pattern pattern I think it was before I read that, that she said that <laughs> but um she said it was like perfectly fine to share it and all that just she is uh, waiting for other testers you know to get back all their input and uh, photos which I'll take photos for her once I get this blocked hopefully if I can figure out how to get it blocked right <laughs> and um, where is it let's see here she's gonna be releasing this probably sometime in March because she wants all the testers to be done by the end of February I don't know why I went ham through it, but every time someone asks me to do something like that, I try to finish it as quickly as possible. <laughs> but uh, it's an awesome pattern. It's really great. It's super easy. I finished it. I only worked on it 
for I think three days, three different times. I sat down and worked on it for a few hours. It probably took me probably together, all added together, probably seven ish hours to make this shawl. And I did have to rip it back a little bit, but that was not the pattern's fault. That was my fault for messing up because I was watching TV while doing it and I kept increasing on the wrong side. And uh, you gotta be careful not to do that because then it'll make your shawl look funny. <laughs> But yeah, I have it weaved in my ends because I was going to wait till I blocked it to weave it in because I was afraid that it would poke out. And plus, like I said, I have no idea how to block stuff. Like, I know how to do it, but I've never done it, so it's going to be a new experience I'm going to be figuring out here in a little bit. But, okay. Anyways, she's named it the Treasure Island Shawl. And in her pattern, she's got a really cute explanation of why it's named that and all that. Which y'all can read when the pattern releases. Um, it's by Hannah, I already said that. I made it with an eye hook, and she wrote it to where you can use any size yarn, and I used finger weight, because I had this ball, I don't know if you guys remember, if you're original subscribers, you would have, you would remember, this was a ball, now this is just a little hank that I rolled, uh, wrapped up, this is what was left. This is yarn that I got when I, we went on vacation last May to Gatlinburg here in Tennessee. Uh, me and Devin went there and stayed like a week, and they, there's a What's it called? I think it's called Smoky Mountain Spinnery. It's a yarn store and, you know, they got all kinds of stuff there. And I went there, obviously, because it's right down the road from our hotel and um, bought some yarn. I bought one thing of yarn because it was fancy yarn and I'm, st I'm more like an acrylic kind of girl, but I did want something as a souvenir. So I picked this yarn out and um, it's called, it's a Wonderland yarn. I don't have the tag anymore, either way, or put it up somewhere. It's, it's not here. <laughs> It's Wonderland yarn, and then this line of it is called Cheshire Cat, and the colorway of this is called Tea Party. When I bought it, I thought this was called Cheshire Cat, because it totally looks like Cheshire Cat, because it's pinks and purples mixed together. But uh, I found out from watching other people's videos that that's like the line. Like, I don't know what this, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. The brand is Wonderland. This particular mix of it is Cheshire Cat, and this color is Tea Party, is what I'm trying to say. This, the original, uh... Hank, his, when I bought it, it was Hank, was 512 yards, and it's 100% super rush merino, which I've never had fancy yarn. That's fancy to me. Um, I used almost all of it. You know, this is what's left of it. This, it was a 4-ounce skein, and this is point, uh, 0.4 ounces. So I used 3.6 ounces on the shawl. Here it is. I don't know how good you can see it. It's a really cute shawl. You can't see it because of the colors. But there are like eyelet um, rows every so often. There's one. There's some. I wish I had something dark to lay up against it. The light. There's one right down the middle of it, which would be that part. I'm, I'm black. I guess you can see it a little bit. <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, it's a really pretty pattern and really quick. And I have no idea how to wear stuff like this. I don't know what I'm doing. Don't make fun of me too bad in the comments, cause I. I don't know how to wear stuff like this. Plus, my hair is all down. I always wear it down when Jesse's not here. So, if I ever film a video with my hair down, you know Jesse's not here. Something like that. I think that's how people wear it. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. But I wanted to make something wearable with this yarn because it's my souvenir yarn. It's special yarn. You know, I'll probably never buy it. This was like $30 for this one hank. And that's, that's a lot because I could buy like six skeins of yarn for that. And make plenty of amigurumi and still have leftover yarn. <laughs> but um, I got this little bit that I'm going to save with that other little mini skein, I forgot what it's called, uh, that Melody sent me. That I'm going to save them and I'm, I'm going to try to collect a bunch of mini skeins and make some kind of little mini skein something. One of those little blankets or something. But a small version. <laughs> Yeah, I think this is so cute, and it's super lightweight and finger weight. You know, if you made it in worsted weight, it'd be heavier, obviously. So I could, if I could figure out how to wear it right and not look stupid, I could wear it in, you know, from our winter, which starts in like November, <laughs> all the way through our spring, which is ends around March. You know, the coldness is like November to March here. I could wear it with a jacket and you know inside builds I wouldn't have to worry about stripping it off like I do my uh, scarf and all that but yeah I think it's cute I just can't figure out how to wear it properly <laughs> and I know it'll get a little bit bigger when I block it and this is 100% wool so it should stay that way I think <laughs> if I hand wash it I, I don't know I don't know the fancy stuff 
this straw would be so much prettier. I mean, like, the yarn is pretty here, but it would be so much prettier if I used a solid color because you could see the detail of the eyelet. Rose, right there is the double one. I don't know why I keep trying to show it to you because I don't think you can see it. These two. <laughs> I feel like it's taking me forever to talk about. But yeah, I really like it. It's pretty. And I got to use my souvenir yarn. So now I have something to like hold and touch and squish. It's real squishy. And think about it. still kind of smells like the yarn store. Which is weird. <laughs> but because uh, that was almost a year ago now. That I can remember our week in Gatlinburg. Which was so fun. Because we had been there before but we didn't get to like do all the cool awesome stuff and that time we did everything we could possibly squeeze in and I think my most favorite thing was the Titanic Museum I can't wait to go back I cried I'm gonna lie I cried just going through there and thinking about all, all that stuff pe then people must have went through that night oh I cried but yeah that's what's left and I'll figure out something to do with it that was a really long explanation about that Shaw and you got to watch me awkwardly try to try it on. <laughs> but yeah, that is fingering weight. I can't remember if I said that. But she did write it to where it could be made with any weight of yarn, except for probably bulky. But you know, like fingering weight and um, maybe lace weight, you could make a little tiny version of it. Um, or really lacy, you know, it'd be lacy. Lots of bigger holes because of the eye hook. But um, DK, you know, worsted. I would imagine, she said that worsted, when she made it worsted, it came out the same size as fingering. I feel like mine came out way bigger than hers, and it's not even blocked yet, but I think it's because, uh, my tension. I don't know. There's no talent. Everybody's tension is different when they make stuff. But, we shall see. <laughs> okay, I, ju I just checked the camera to make sure it was still recording. Because I don't want to sit here and talk for nothing. Alright, let's see. That's all my finished objects. I was hoping to finish a couple more. Did I bring that other one? I don't know if it's over here. Oh, Foo Fighters. I'll have to go grab it. I'll grab it. Okay, I found it. I was thinking it was in my other Halloween bag, but when I picked it up, it was empty, and I was like, what did I do with it? It was in this Christmas bag. I don't know. At lunch. I feel like my throat's getting sore. I hope I'm not getting sick again, but it seems like everybody's sick constantly now. Alright, that's not the one I'm talking about. This one. First whip. I have not touched this since last week, so it's going to look exactly the way it did last week. But, in case you weren't here last week, I'll show it to you anyways. It is the American Flag Reef by Erica Fedor. It's living in my Halloween candy bag. I almost said Christmas candy bag. And it's just got polka dots on the inside, which I absolutely love these bags. I can't. Oh, I hope Walmart gets more fat quarters for Easter. They were stocking Easter stuff today. I should have looked. I didn't think about it. There's going to be so many cute ones for Easter. Little bunnies and chicks and stuff. I'm so excited. Okay. I'm done with the navy blue section, which I did show you last week. But, you know, for the sake of repetition, I'll show you again. Oh, I'm going to measure it, too. I'll have to get a tape measure and measure it. If I do that, if I remember to do that, I will pop it up somewhere. Because it's really long. I'm thinking it's like nine feet or longer of blue squiggliness. When I made this, it made me think of the jellyfish that were real popular for a while. Everybody's making with the little squiggly tentacles. I want to make a giant one. And Devin agreed with me that that would be a cool idea to make a giant jellyfish amigurumi. I don't know if it would be considered amigurumi anymore. But like a giant one. I'm talking huge to hang up from one of the corners here in the living room or something. It would look really cool just how giant jellyfish hanging around. Me, Devin, and Jesse all love fish and stuff like that. For Jesse's birthday, finger got stuck, we are getting um, membership to the Chattanooga Aquarium because it's about an hour from here. So that we can go, you know, essentially all year for free. Because, you know, one, one trip with the three of us, because Jesse's still free until he's four, um, it's like 50 something dollars just to get in and plus gas and plus food and you know souvenir because I always like to buy picture frames or magnets when we go to places like that to put pictures of us there in. it's like my thing um, anyways it's like fifty dollars and the membership for two adults and four kids is a uh, hundred and seventy five dollars for a year so like three trips to the aquarium 
is paid off, but you can go anytime you want. Like, we could go every weekend if we wanted to, which I probably would want to because I love the aquarium. But, because uh, then we just need to get, have extra gas money and uh, food money and stuff like that. And with the four kids, we could take my nephew Ben with us or the little girl that I babysit because she likes going to stuff like that. Or Devin's sister because she's under, uh, she's 14, 15? 14, she's 14. Alright, I also got two red sections done. This one's not rolled up nice. These, um, I have to make five more of these and then six watt. These work out really fast, these little ones. That blue one took forever. It took like two weeks, but to me that's forever. I usually do quick, fast projects. But this is going to be for the fair, the county fair. And, um, there's also a Halloween wreath that's made the same exact way that I thought about making also for the fair. I don't know. I don't know if I want to make two reefs that way. But yeah, I'm using, he's got my frog hook in him. I love these little polymer clay hooks. These are like my favorite thing. I wish they were a little bit cheaper, but I understand, you know, it's it's hard to do polymer clay. I've tried that. It's not easy. you got to have some skill. But yeah, that is, it is a paid for PDF, but it's free on her vlog. 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 Uh, super cute. She's got a bunch of them. She's got the Halloween one, um. And the American Flag one and a couple more, I think. I can't remember. Okay, I'll chuck that over there. Alright, the next whip is another one I haven't touched. And I wanted to so bad. I, this is my Christmas tree square for Terry's crochet along of the uh, Christmas pixel character blanket. I think that's what it's called. I can't remember. I gotta dig it out. <laughs> I think it didn't work on it at all this week. Like it's, it looks exactly the way it did last week. But I wanted to so bad. But every time I started to, something would happen. So I'm gonna try to get some work done on this soon. Maybe today. This is the yarn that I've picked out to do my garland with. I don't know if you can see that it's sparkly, but it does have sparkle in it. This is, I think this is um, Karen. Uh, I think it's Karen Simply Soft celebrate or a party or something like that. It was a Walmart. My sister bought it two years ago, two or three years ago. She wanted me to make her a Christmas tree skirt. She's got a really skinny, really tall Christmas tree. So the skirt that I made her was only like that big. It wasn't big at all because her, her tree was really skinny. Um, and I already had red, green, and white and then she wanted sparkly. So uh, she bought me two balls of this and I didn't even use a whole ball. This is the leftover of the one ball, and plus I got another whole ball. I don't think I put it in here. No. I, it's still in my tote, but I got another whole ball of it. But yeah. I'm planning on making my garland on the tree that color, and then the ornaments are just going to be red and a dark blue, I think. Or darker than this color blue. I love this. I think this is delf blue. I think this is such a pretty shade of blue. That's my square. That is by Sarah Zimmerman, and it's part of Terry's um, crochet along that she's hosting over on her Facebook group. And I'm pretty sure you know about it. If you watch pretty much any of the <laughs> the smaller yarn people, you've probably heard about it because it seems like almost all of us are doing it, which is cool. It's cool that we're all doing it together. It's neat. We'll we'll all have that same blanket this November, but it'll be different colors and stuff, which is so cool. All right, let's see here. That is a free pattern. I don't know if I said that. Oh, I forgot to show you my hook in that. I like showing my hooks because they're so cute. This one, I think, this is my penguin hook, I think. Let me reach down here trying to find it. Where are you, Mr. Hook? Oh, there it is. Yeah, I think it's my penguin. Yep, it's my penguin. This is an elf hook. My sister got me this for Christmas. It's a little penguin and he's holding like an ice cube and he's got a bow tie on. It's so cute. And the white polymer clay right here is sparkly. I think that's neat. And that is in my, um, skeleton bag that I made. Alright, I'm full vibrating right now. Let me check it. Okay, just YouTube now. Alright. Oops, turn the page. Christmas bell. That's this one. This is an ornament that I'm making for, t not Terry, Claudia's crochet along that she's doing that is uh, hashtag box of ornaments 2018. It's just living in my Christmas bag. It's got birds on it and polka dotted inside. And I didn't really get hardly any of it done. This is all I got done. And this part, I'll pop up a picture. This part is like the inside part where the little bell is hanging down. 
and then I still got to make the other bell, the big part of the bell around it. The pattern calls for like a 2.5 millimeter hook and thread, I'm pretty sure, but I'm using an E hook and worsted weight yarn because that's what I have a lot of. And I like my amigurumis to not be tiny, I like them to be, you know, medium sized or larger. So I always go up a hook size usually, or two, sometimes two. That's just a regular old, oh no it's not. <laughs> I thought it was a regular hook. This is another hook my sister got me. She got me this one. I made her that elephant. I can't remember the last episode or the one before that, but the little elephant, she got me this. It's supposed to look like little chocolate hearts and uh, chocolate drizzle on down. I don't know why I thought that was a regular hook. I haven't painted mine. But yeah, that's a little tiny project for that big bag, but I was using all my little bags. But that's all right. Uh, the only other whip that I have is my secret one, which I will insert a photo of. I did work on it. I did add a few, three or four more rolls, because that's a good project for me to do when I'm, like when Jesse's in a bathtub, or when he's doing something where I, can, I can't concentrate on a pattern, and I can just do that over and over, because it's just half double crochets over and over until it gets the length that it needs to be, which it's really far from. I need to work on it more, because I know September's a while away, but it's going to pop up on me any day now, and I'm going to be like, ah! That's another reason that I don't want to, that I want to finish the whips that I have right now and uh, get to work on more fair projects, which brings me into my future whip, which, future as in today. I was going to start it yesterday, but I never got the chance. I already have the yarn and everything pulled out for it. And it is, I'll pop a picture up. It is the Miss Super Snappy by Heidi Yates. It's a bigger, she had a little snappy, Miss Snappy doll, and then later she came up with a big one. It's pretty big. It's probably like the size of that bear that I made recently. Um, it's just a doll and it's got really cute hair. And uh, I want to make it for the doll category at the fair. Last year I put in my Mary Smith um, Hagrid. Was that last year? No, that was not last year. That was the year before last. I won with Hagrid. Last year I put in... Oh, my bird. My bird. It was Mary Smith also. I love that bird. It's so cute. I need to, I'll be digging him out soon because he's like a springy thing. I'll get him out with my Easter bunny. Anyways, Mrs. Super Snappy. I already got everything pulled out for her. She is paid for pattern, but I got her for free because like I always say, you can always get her patterns for free or super cheap. And speaking of super cheap, right now, until from now, actually a few days ago, but it's going on right now, until um, Sunday... February 18th all of Heidi Eight's patterns are 60% off so if you like any of the ones I've mentioned you need to go get them now while they're super cheap but I mean that's over halfway off so that's uh, that's a good deal and they're not really expensive to begin with um she's visiting her new grandbaby right now that's why she's got the cell going on her daughter had another baby but anyways um I'm gonna be making her well, I was originally going to make her with Red Heart Super Saver and uh, I love this yarn, Peach, as a skin. But then I was on the project page for Mrs. Snappy and I clicked on projects because I like seeing what other people, you know, how other people make their patterns. And I scrolled down and then I found this picture. And these little Super Snappies are, um, they look like poodle skirt, you know, like 1950s poodle skirt. And that's so cute. If I could figure out how to make a little poodle. I would totally copy that person's idea and make a poodle skirt one. So I might try to find a little poodle applique. And if I can find one of those, I might change my color scheme. I was going to make her clothes different shades of purple. I have three shades of purple pulled out. And I was just going to make her very purpley. But if I can figure out how to make a poodle, she's going to be a poodle girl. Not a purple girl. But yeah, that's all of my whips and the only current whip. And then I done showed this because I have a um, note about that. Alright, the next thing I want to talk about is my future giveaway that I'm actually going to be announcing really soon. Like in a few days probably, I think. I got some more stuff and I was thinking I was going to buy some more stuff for the giveaway. But I have a bunch of yarn that I thought I would de-stash. I would use this as a moment to de-stash. But I think I'm going to like this giveaway because it's, it's for like appreciation of subscribers. And... So I was going to make it like kind of my favorite things type giveaway. Pull it all out. I got it in a comforter bag to keep it clean and all that. So I was trying to, I was going through my yarn and seeing what I had a bunch of that I could get rid of that 
wouldn't be in the world in Mama Hunt. Um, one of those things is Mandala, because everybody knows all of Mandala, and everybody should know, or at least people from the beginning will know that I like Gnome. I bought a ton of Gnome. And so, I'm going to give away, to whomever wins, two cakes of Mandala Gnome. That one looks like a little cupcake, it's like poking up. <laughs> Because I love that colorway. And another colorway that I loved, that I had extra of, and I just, I didn't need it for the project that I made, so it's just extra, and I can't think of anything I want to make. It's more bright yarn. And it's Red Heart Super Saver Stripes, and I think it's called Bright Stripes. Yeah, Bright Stripes. Two balls of that. And then this is yarn that I love, but I cannot figure out what to make with it. <laughs> it's all of this yarn brand. It's chunky. Let's see here, where's the tag? It is a uh, number five bulky, 109 yards each. There's two of them. It's called Ocean. And I think I bought this originally to try to make something for Jesse. And uh, I never could find something I want to make for him. And I've been holding on to this yarn because I think it's pretty. But if I'm not going to use it, I don't need to just keep it laying around. It's not the same thing as like solid color acrylics that I can make amigurumis out of. This is like this this yarn needs to be a hat or something but I just don't know what kind of hat I want to make with it but it is two balls of it it's just really pretty f foamy green color I don't know if that's a word but it's just a really pretty color so those two so that's six balls of yarn right now and then the chill out bag which was originally was I was gonna fill it up with stuff and give it away but that ain't gonna fit in here but I was still gonna send this along with it it's just I think this would be a cute um project bag. I got one too, but mine's the one that says Ola Beaches. <laughs> I always have to be careful the way I say that. And then also, I just got these little stitch markers. You can't see them. One's a little umbrella, one's a flower, and one's one that I made. Let's see if I can open it. You're not going to be able to see it because this camera doesn't focus the way fancy people cameras do. But I, I made this one. And then these are just two. I honestly don't remember where. I, I don't know if those are from a swap or if those are something that I bought at Hobby Lobby. <laughs> But they're just some stitch markers because I got a good drilling of them, so I thought I'd share some. And I also, there's a few other things that I'm going to throw in there. Like some are, I'm going to put some candy in there, some of my favorite candies. But whoever wins, I'm going to ask them first if they have allergies because I don't want to accidentally kill someone. <laughs> but, um, and so it would be fresher, so I could buy it right before I'm going to mill it. But I was going to put some candy in there and maybe some other little things that I like. Uh, you know, it won't show at all. It'll be some surprises for the people. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm probably going to, I want to get a few more things to put in there in the next few days. And then maybe next week I'll actually make a video, the video, the giveaway video. So you keep your eyes peeled for that. And um, I'm going to leave the giveaway open for a week or so. Because um, to get more people, you know, people who aren't already subscribers to find me and, you know, enter if they want to. But, yeah. I thought that was pretty cool because I do love these yarns and I love this yarn for sure. This kind of similar in a way. This is like duller colors, but it's so pretty. But yeah, that's the giveaway stuff as of right now. And it will be open to anywhere. If you can ex if you can receive a package from the United States, I will send it to you. I know some places it's going to be really expensive, but you know, that's part of having a community that is so wide, you know, you can't just pick locals to win. It's kind of, you know, it's not very accepting of other people <laughs> in my mind, you know. I will pay the shipping to wherever it goes. I don't mind. Throw this on here. Uh, I just have to make sure that if someone from another country wins that whatever food items I'm sending is okay. Because I know some countries are real strict with what comes in. I know Australia is one of them. Or at least according to that border show that I've watched on Netflix. So, this is just in a comforter bag that Jesse, Jesse's mini comforter came in. I say you have every kind of little bag like that because you never know when you might need a bag to put some random balls of yarn in. But yeah, that's, I just, every time I find something that I think I'm going to put in the giveaway, I just throw it in that bag. And there are a few things, I'll probably go to Dollar Tree because there's a lot of things that I get there that I love and, you know, it's a favorite thing, so. I'm going to throw in some favorites, and um, there will probably be hot chocolate, because I love hot chocolate. I think that's about everything that I wanted to cover today. I'm trying to think. I already talked about all the cows in that one video, so if you're interested in any of the cows that I'm doing, uh, it's in that video. <laughs> 
Um, and I will be making another a paper craft haul video here, here in a few minutes, probably if I'm or after this one. But it may actually come out before this video. I don't know. We shall see. But yeah, I'm going to finish up these whips. I'm going to try to work on these really hard this week and get them done so that I can start more stuff for the fair because I need to start. I got a lot of, I got a huge fuzz. I got a huge um, list of stuff that I want to make for the fair and I need to get on it because I mean it is only February but I mean it won't be long at all before September's here and I'm going to want to enter stuff. The more stuff I enter the more chances I get to win ribbons which is awesome but also money because <laughs> our, our fair pays for first, second, and third prizes and best in show. Um, Wait, do third prize get a... I can't remember if third place does get money. I think they do. I think they get like a dollar each. I don't remember. But last year I made 20-ish dollars at the fair, which I immediately spent on yarn. But, you know, that's the whole point. You know, do it for fun, get some ribbons, and get some yarn money. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I'm going to work on these, try to get them done, find some more stuff for the giveaway. And, I don't know, that's about it. That's all I can think of. So I will see you guys in the next uh, video whenever it comes out. <laughs> for sure next Friday, but probably in between sometime. Uh, as usual, my links are all below. My Instagram, my Facebook group, my Ravelry page, and my Ravelry group. The Facebook group is the most active. and I used to be real active on Instagram, but I've noticed lately I've not been very active on there. I need to pick that back up again. But um, if you have any questions or comments, just leave them below, and I will respond to you as quickly as possible. And join the Facebook group if you haven't already. Every... There's already 106 people in there, I think. Uh, and every 100 people that join the group, I'm going to do a pattern giveaway. I gave away one the other day. Oh, I can't remember now who won it. Is Amy? Amy something? I can't remember now. Oh, I was just thinking of it. But she she picked out a really cute, um, what's it called? Hungry Caterpillar Baby Swaddle thing. Like a cocoon with a hat. Um... And I'm going to do that every 100 people. I thought about doing 50. I don't know. For right now, it's at 100. I might change it later. Uh, for any Ravelry pattern at all, that is 5 US dollars or under. And you, you know, I'll send it to you right after. I send it right after I realized she messaged me. Because, <laughs> um, you know, the messenger, when you're not friends, it doesn't always pop up and tell you. Anyways, um, it's just a fun thing to, you know, to give back to to support and the group's real fun there's a lot of you know people post and share stuff they're working on even if it's not crochet related it's still fun to you know just become friends with people and get to know them and all that oh speaking of random friends <laughs> there's another facebook group oh i can't remember what it's called let me see if i can bring it up on my phone it's called it's called it's called it is a pen pal group oh wait it went to secret though i don't know if people can join it I'll give it to you and then you can look it up and see if it works. I joined it when there was only like under 100 people in it and now there's a lot of people in it. What is it called? It's a pen pal group to where you can become, you can, they, you give them your information and they connect you with another person. You can pick either in USA or other. Hmm. My camera cut off. So I pulled out my phone and it was a recording on my phone, only to look at it and realize I talked for like three minutes without hitting the record button. What I was saying for the third time, <laughs> I don't know where this camera cut off because I haven't looked yet. But what I started saying the first time I tried to film on my phone, it didn't hit the button apparently. Pin Pals. There was a Facebook group called um, Crochet Pin Pals Around the World. It's set to secret now, so I don't know if you could still join it. Um, maybe you can look it up and join it that way but it's pen pals <laughs> and what I was saying is if it is secret but you still want a pen pal you could write me if you want to my uh, PO box is in the description box and I'll totally write you back may not be immediately because of Jesse <laughs> toddler life but uh, like this one this is her first letter to me she's from Washington State uh, my first letter to her I got this sometime last week I can't remember it should say on here. She mailed it February 1st. I got it. Um, she mailed that was a weekend. I got it like four days later. I think it's in the weekend. But um, 
and I just sent hers back to Monday or Tuesday. But um, yeah, it's a lot of fun so far. You know, the one whole letter. <laughs> I used to have a pen pal a long time ago, and I actually had a little uh, correspondence with Duke Van Dyke when I was 11. He sent me some stuff. It was real cool. I love Duke Van Dyke. I love musicals. So, well, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get off and start talking a whole lot more. But I'm gonna go ahead and hop off here since everything is not wanting to record me right now. But there will be more videos coming out soon, so just keep your eyes peeled. And the giveaway video will be coming out hopefully next week. So definitely keep your eyes open for that one. Um, I'm rooting for everybody to win. And you know, I know only one person gets to win, but hopefully whoever wins it really needed to pick me up or something that day. Um, I think life works that way, you know. But uh, yeah, I'm going to hop up here and get to work on this stuff and film that other video for the paper stuff. So I will see you guys for sure next Friday, but probably before. Bye.